Welcome back, still watching the newsroom right here on ET Now. Now the focus is on Phenolex cables and uh, Mr. J.N. Gupta is joining us uh, to talk more about that. Uh, Mr. Gupta, good afternoon. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, you have observed in your latest report uh, some of the uh, events and happening which are happening in the, at the company level which are actually quite detrimental to the uh, rights of the minority shareholders and hence you have come out with set of recommendations. What are the concerns uh, which... Uh, are the, the big ones, the important ones as far as Phenolex cables is concerned in your observation? See, I, I would say that one should not look and all the investors should not look at Phenolex cable alone. There are two companies in the stable, Phenolex cable and Phenolex industries. These two are presently being headed by cousin brothers and there is an intense fight between the brothers over the ownership of the shares that are held in some trust. Now, as a result of which, both are at loggerheads and the other one party votes against the other in the meetings. Now, as the structure is of this company, major shareholding of this company is in hands of a trust whose voting power is exercised by the other brother. So as a result, on a regular basis, the resolutions proposed by Phenolex cables are defeated at AGM or have a very adverse voting pattern because of this fight. So one cannot look at the outcome of the resolutions purely on the basis of merits or correctness or governance issue. It is more because of a fight between the two brothers. Having said that, the problem that this company is having is to struggle against the one brother who has a voting power in this company, although the management is with the other brother. Now, what happens? The company proposes independent directors the other brother doesn't approve it. So those directors, they are there in the company from their time, they are appointed as additional director till AGM. And AGM, they are defeated. So the company appoints a new set of director next day. Those will continue till next AGM and the other brother will defeat the resolution again. So this musical chair would continue. And this, once again, gives a very important signal to us or to the regulator that what is the solution for such fights between the promoters? Because they are hurting themselves, that is besides the point, but they are hurting millions of other investors and other stakeholders. If you look at these two companies, Phenolex Cable and Phenolex Pipe or the industry, they have been, mar been the market leader in their respective field for ages, at least 20, 30 years. But look at their market cap today and where the competitors would have entered the business much later than on a much smaller scale. But today their size is three to four times of what is their size. So these brothers should realize that what they have lost in fighting is not only their loss, it is loss of other investors also who are beyond 50% in the company. Now, today, the law does not provide a solution to public shareholder against promoter fight because whatever resolution public shareholder will bring will not be passed because of the majority that is held by these two people. So, I think a regulator has to really have an out-of-box solution for such situation where the investors are suffering because of the family fighting. And it is not a only case. There are many other cases where the two brothers or mother, brother, father or mother, father or whatever may be fighting. We are unable in this country to differentiate between our personal fight vis a -vis company and we tend to harm the company and the investor more 
than anything else. If these brothers sit down and see that even if one brother would have given up everything what was designed, it will still be much, much less than what they have lost in the process. It would be at least 10 times what the thing. So problem is that we have, the, the promoters or the fighting parties do not have a vision, do not have a solution. And they should really find some mediator who would be mediating and telling them. But I think if they watch this interview, they should understand and do the homework and back, back of the envelope calculation and see that who are the market leader in cable or who are the market leader in PVC pipe today and what is the market cap of those companies and what is their market cap. And they will come to tears and say, yes, we were wrong. So please do not cause investors loss because you have some issue. Mr. Gupta. Mr. Gupta, you brought up a very important point of value destruction or value preservation on behest of minority shareholders, promoters. That's the main uh, one of the main responsibilities of the board as well as at the manage as the management to preserve, if not grow, at least you know don't do any steps which actually destroys value. And you are alluding to that. Now the shareholder meeting is scheduled for 29th September. Uh, at SCS, what are the some of the recommendations which you have? Uh, for you know, shareholders who would be going and exercising that their vote on the various resolutions. Yes, I see. We have given our recommendation based on the information that is there with us, based on what is declared in the annual report or in the notice. Unfortunately, we cannot take any information which is not authentic, not in public domain, and our analysis is limited to that information. But again, I would say that our analysis or our recommendations have no meaning because the bulk of the voting power is with the other party. So the, our recommendations, whether I say yes or no, has no meaning unless until the other brother and the two brother come together and want to really save the company from the problem. Right. Right. So, but Mr. Gupta, you know, it is important, uh, you know, also there's a difference that one large shareholder from the promoter family and other is the, uh, the in the driving seat. The steps taken by the active management or in the driving seat will have more influence on the way, uh, you know, valuation in the company is being run. Uh, is it not versus the one which is sitting out? No, oh, no, you, you, you are right and wrong both. Right if... I have a continuity of management. If you defeat my independent director or all non-executive directors every year, now I am working like a, <coughs> a government or like a company where every year a CEO is changed. How do I have a continuity or how, how do I, because all my energy will be focused on saving myself and my position rather than saving the company or working for the growth of the company. The, the problem is not with the company per se. Problem is not with the technical ability or not anything else. The problem is, one, the confidence that I will survive tomorrow. Second is this, I will not have negative energy. It is a situation where you want to move two steps forward, the other brother is pulling you three steps backward. And it, it is happening for last so many years. If you look at the history of litigation, I think it is more than a decade old. 